Assume here with another redstone contraption involving locking repeaters. What we have here is a customizable pulse lengthener. This is uh, very simple to make and it's quite flexible as well. Um, so what we have here in this demonstration are two outputs being the pistons. The one on the left uses the pulse lengthener and the other one just uses the button as an input. And the button has 10 ticks and the smallest amount that you can extend the pulse by is three ticks so there's also a one tick delay from when this piston will be activated because of the locking repeater that we're going to use here and then you're going to have three ticks from these two repeaters and this one as well adds an extra tick to the pulse length so when I press this you can see that one fired second but it stayed up for slightly longer so that was a 13 tick pulse from a button just with the one tick delay and then if you set these repeaters to maximum then you're going to have a 16 tick pulse so you'll see this time it's going to be slightly longer and of course you can set it anywhere in between and you can actually add a third repeater but you can only put this on the third setting so that's one tick two and three any more than that and this won't work so now we have a 19 tick pulse and you can also add a delay as well because you can change the setting of this one here so if we add a two tick delay we can add an extra tick there so we've still got a 19 tick pulse but it activates two ticks after and this could be useful um, I'm not really sure of a use for it but if you're using something that involves precise timing it might actually be useful to have a delay on your input so we can put two more ticks on that repeater and then add another repeater and put two ticks on that and that is the most you've now got a 19 tick pulse with a four tick delay so there is a way to make the pulse even longer than 19 ticks but this is where I start to lose count of the ticks and um, it gets a little bit confusing uh, but like we, what we have here we are just branching off the signal that goes into an input sending it through some repeaters so it locks that one and we can just do that again we can branch the output off here and then send it back into a repeater and you'll see now that the pulse is even longer and we can even do that again just again branching off the input sending it back into a repeater and then you'll see it's even longer still so you can really go a bit crazy with this if you want to and make a really long pulse by just constantly adding repeaters that feed back into one before it like this and um, if you want to see the path that it takes just follow the locking repeater from there you can see it unpowers like that and you could do this as much as you like, you could fill up a large space full of repeaters and your pulse will get longer and longer. And obviously this isn't very compact or an efficient layout and I'm sure someone out there will be able to take this and come up with a, a logical design where you've got like a repeating segment that you can use to add more and more delay and um, that's a lot more compact with this. But there you go, that was a simple idea, just a simple way to make a pulse lengthener using the locking repeaters. So thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.